What is going on, everybody? This is one a lot of people been asking for. So let's do it. Let's talk about the full swing kit. Hey, everybody, Scott Oden coming at you. We're here. We're in the lab. We're going to be talking about the full swing kit. Finally got my hands on that device. And we'll talk a little bit about more of that in a second. Before we do that, again, we have the PGA show coming up next week. If there's anything in particular you are looking for, please let me know. Other than that, we're going to be talking a lot about launch monitors. Got some good info coming up, including testing out the big boys against Mevo Plus and Full Swing. So that'll be in the next video. So. Without further ado, let's talk a little full swing kit. If you remember from a couple of months ago, I talked about in a video why I had pre-ordered a full swing kit. You know, they were taking $100 down and then you would pay the difference as you went. So I put down that $100 and then went and waited and waited and waited. And the device was actually delayed for about, you know, they were saying like March and then it went into December. So they finally released the device and, you know, put out pictures of Tiger hitting with it. There's a picture of Phil going on with it now. And so everybody was going nuts about it, right? Well, it finally got to that point and I had decided not to get the device. And I'll link that video down below if you want to see. And I'll put it up here actually too for you to see why I didn't want to get the device at that time. Right. So have a friend who works. He is the director of golf at Whitetail Ridge Golf Club, Alex Baylog. And he has a full soon kit. He said, hey, if you would like to come out and try it out, I ended up getting it. And would you like to come out and try it out? So I said, absolutely. Let's get out there and see what this device is all about. So headed out there and we took a look. And to be honest, let's go over some of the good things that are with the device right now. So let's talk a little bit about how you go through and set this device up. It's very, very similar to Mevo Plus in how you set things up. You connect to the Wi-Fi and then you open the app and then you're set up. Now, the requirements right now that the device will give you is 10 feet from the ball to the unit. So it's a little bit longer than your typical, you know, eight feet that the Mevo Plus is asking for. Okay. But they're saying they want 10 feet behind. Now they don't give you a ball flight requirement because technically there is no indoor mode on this device. When you go to set up, it'll ask you, are you in outdoor or indoor mode? Except the indoor mode is grayed out, so you have to go into outdoor mode. Now, Alex said he just did an update, but prior to this update, it used to ask him if he was hitting into a net, and it didn't do that this time. So he thinks the update changed that, but the, the fact that they have it there, they are planning on having an indoor mode. It's just not ready, right? So we still were able to hit shots. We're still able to see what we can get. At that 10 to 12 feet of flight, we had 12 feet of flight in this particular setup, but we were able to hit some shots. It does read with that amount of flight, and we'll talk a little bit more about that, but uh, it will work. It's just not supposedly intended for that yet, okay? So you have to keep that in mind as you're looking at this, and I think that's important to keep in mind throughout the rest of this video, and when we talk about the full swing kit is, it just doesn't seem ready yet for some of the things that we're talking about. But anyway, we continue on with it. The, the couple of really, really nice things about this device, aesthetically, this thing looks really sweet. I, I'm a big sucker for like lights and stuff like that and how things look. Uh, when things look pleasing, that's really, really nice. It's an easy to read display. You get the numbers on the front of the device. You can get the numbers, all the numbers in the app. And you can actually right. customize what numbers go on the front of that device. So you could have one number, you could have four, you could have any of the numbers you want to pick. So that is really cool. If you're working on one thing and one thing only, and you just want to like hit balls and make swings and have the swing speed, there you go. That would be a good way to do it. Um, it's just, that would be about the, the best parts of it. It is very solidly built as well. It comes with a very, very nice travel case as well. Um, so, you know, from that standpoint, 
it's like, all right, this is a solid unit. It's going to last and it's going to be really, really uh, durable as you're going through and traveling with it. Now, one thing that Alex did bring up, he, they also have a TrackMan 4 at the golf club. He mentioned that it would be nice if it had like a little carry handle like the TrackMan 4 does, which this does not. So just a little tiny thing there. But uh, yeah, from that it is very well built, very, very, very sturdy, and it looks really cool. It does look really good as you're going. Now, from the other standpoints of using the device, you know, there there's not a whole lot to report on. Kind of what my feelings and thoughts were when I decided not to get the device was, one, that's not ready. There's nothing to really try. So you can hit shots. So we were hitting shots, and we were hitting shots that felt like, all right, hey, it's reading. But a couple of things that I noticed is one, we would hit shots and the spin very much would just kind of, I mean, if we hit 10 balls, we would, and we were hitting with a five iron, you would get like three or four of them that would say the exact same spin number of a 44, 55 RPMs. Uh, the distances were all in like this same range of 204 to 212. Kind of really didn't matter how well it seemed like you hit it. Um, we were hitting the device up against TrackMan. We had TrackMan running right next to it. And the spin numbers were coming in fairly low, um, at least a thousand RPMs. And the yardage was coming in, you know, sometimes up to 30 yards short compared to TrackMan. Now, my thoughts with that were I did notice TrackMan seemed to be reading the smash extremely high. So Alex was hitting balls. Alex is a much stronger, much uh, bigger hitter than me. It hits his five iron. He can carry a 240. And his smash on Trackman was reading 1.44, 145 sometimes. That's pretty high for a five iron. So that's, I'm going to take that a little bit with a grain of salt. But, you know, the full swing constantly was doing that. It also was missing some of the shorter shots it did struggle with some of the chippy type shots um, we did have to get a certain distance hit for it to read it so that was you know again when we're talking about simulation coming down the road that's a little bit concerning as we go through with that the other thing is with the uh, the device the app um, if you have a Rapsodo, you would be very familiar with this app. It, it looks pretty much like that. You hit a shot. You, you can't see ball flight at all. You just see it plotted out where that ball would have ended up on a map uh, is basically it. And so you get your numbers, you get your club path, you get your club face. It, it just... Uh, you know, it, it's not anything to really look at, right? Like, I, I don't know if I would be learning anything at this moment. So definitely seems like they thought you're going to be hitting outside with it more and be able to see your flight. And then we're just going to plot your distances on a graph, basically, is how it kind of works out. So you can see that. Again, not really going to help us in the simulator world. And for majority of us that are in really cold climates, this device, I just don't think is going to cut it as far as that stuff is concerned. For people that are looking for that, you, you might as well go for the $500 MLM, the Rapsodo, and get that device because it's basically doing the same thing. Now, yes, you do get club path. You do get club face. Um, how accurate are they? They actually seemed OK. Um, you know, if I, we would say, all right, hey, we're going to hit one with a really exaggerated into out swing it would read into out and we would get some curve and stuff like that some spin axis to the left spin axis to the right we were getting that um again it's hard to set these radars up and exactly the, get it how you want track man you can set up a little bit of skew that's what's nice about it and you can get set up so I, I still, though, have a hard time when you can't get them both perfectly how you want to say like, oh, compare these club path and face numbers uh, when it matters so much how precise you are with the setup. But from there, I mean, there's just not a whole lot to report about the device other than it seemed like the spin was wrong um, where it was low and it didn't seem to be changing much. So that makes me wonder about how much it's actually reading and everything, um, which, again, it's not really meant for that at the moment. So it's supposed to be outdoors. You can use it indoors. But uh, I've heard reports kind of sounding similar, even for people that have hit it outdoors. So. 
you know, was super excited about the device. I, I try to be as positive about things as possible. We'll try it again. Alex has already said, you know, hey, when we, when this thing actually has something like he has a device and he brought it up that he does not use it. There's there's nothing that he really can use it with yet. Um, so, you know, he's kind of hoping something gets upgraded and we see some software and see ball flight and stuff like that. But uh, we'll kind of see as we go. And he said, we'll go back out there and, and try it again when there is something more to it. But at the moment, I think there's still a little bit to be left to be worked on. Um, that's just what we'll see. You'll see in their next video, we're going to compare all three TrackMan 4, Mevo Plus, full swing and i think you're going to see a little bit more of what i'm talking about as far as numbers but just wanted to talk about full swing today and kind of where it's at and what we can expect from it going forward um so we hope we expect a lot to, let's just say that and uh we'll go from there but uh again if you have questions about it i would love to hear feedback from people in the group that have had a chance to have use it longer than a couple hours like i have and uh if you have anything to let people know about, please leave a comment down below in the description. Otherwise, click that subscribe button. Again, we have the test coming up against the big dog, Trackman 4. Excited about that, uh, especially as a Mevo Plus owner. Very excited about that, and I think you'll see why. And uh, we'll have some more exciting videos coming soon, hopefully, too. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Click that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.